What's up everybody, I'm SystemCheck66 and I'm asking what the actual fuck is this? Uh, I would rather go to Jigsaw's house and ask him if he wants to play a game than fucking play this. Like, this looks dreadful. It's an iOS game, it's a DMC iOS game, I think it's called some bullshit fucking name. Devil May Cry, give us all your money. Yeah, that's that's what I'm gonna stick with. Devil May Cry, give us all your money. So uh, we all know there's gonna be microtransactions galore in this fucking game. We know there's gonna be uh, some pay to play shit, some pay to win stuff. You know all that good shit that you like seeing in your Devil May Cry games or other titles. Um, no one wants to play a game like that. No one wants to see that shit make its way into any Devil May Cry game, but you're gonna get that with DMC iOS. I can't remember the fucking name of this game, it escapes me. Uh, one thing I did like was the recreation of the DMC3 intro with Virgil and Dante going at it head to head. Uh, another thing I like is seeing Dante's character model from DMC3 and Virgil's, you know, you know recreated and looking pretty cool actually. Uh, the game looks like it runs perfectly fine and actually quite fast. Um, and, you know, I guess one thing that I did like was the fact we get to see a mid-air stinger, like, which we haven't seen previously. Dante's only able to do that on the ground, but in this, he, he actually did a mid-air stinger on an enemy, so that was cool. But this is still going to be a DMC game where you control it by using your touchscreen on your phone. Um, it's going to be very simplified, you know, combat mechanics-wise, and uh, it's not really a canon entry, like, it's not even a sidestep entry. Is Capcom giving this new development team uh, the rights, some of the character designs, whatever they wanted to use, throw it all in and then, you know, slap some microtransactions in there as well and flinch all the little kiddies out of their pocket money. Capcom have tried this before with Devil May Cry. They made an iOS game. It was shit. They tried it with Resident Evil 4. They had a port of, of that game on iOS. It was, guess what? Congratulations, you win a prize. It was shit. Um, and they're doing it now with this one. But the thing is, you can tell it's a cash grab. You can tell that's why they're doing it. Now, as much as it makes my fucking heart bleed, DMC5 and RE2 sold well, but they didn't sell Call of Duty or GTA numbers. Now, I like that. I like the fact that, that those games are more underground. Survival Horror is more underground. Those titles are more underground than Call of Duty, Assassin's Creed, or GTA. Because it means they strive and work harder um, on their product and it means we get a better product at the end of it you know if they were on the same numbers as assassin's creed gta and call of duty i think they would get lazy i think capcom would get lazy however handing the dmc name over to this fucking company so they can come up with this shit is isn't good i'm sorry capcom you've had my back a few times when i've got copyright strikes you have waived them so quickly i was like whoa i was shocked i thought it would take like a week you did it quick as, like when I, you know, I disputed them. So I, I look, you're my favorite games company out there. You created Resident Evil, you created Devil May Cry, Onimusha, Dino Crisis, the list goes on. You're my favorite company. But when you sell off the DMC name, you know, you sell it down the river to this, this fucking trampy ass company to create a microtransaction filled, you know, DMC title. I, I can't excuse that shit. You know, I have to say something. I'm unbiased, man. I gotta speak my mind and, and you know, and, and speak truth. And I'm not happy with this. Like, if you are a DMC fan and you're happy with this just because you're getting a new DMC game, we only had DMC 5 this year. Literally came out this year just after Resident Evil 2, yeah? Just be happy with what you got there. We might get a 7. I mean, a 6, sorry. We might get a DMC 6. So just be happy with what you got for now. Don't be like, oh, I gotta get this... This Devil May Cry iOS game and it's got Dante in it. Oh, I'm gonna love it. No, just don't excuse this shit. There's no excusing it, okay? You've got to fucking say, no, I don't want this shit. Because they're gonna keep doing this with your, your favorite games. If they get away with this, with this game, they're gonna do it for Resident Evil. They're gonna do it for Dino Crisis. All the other fucking games that they have coming out. If they make more money off an iOS game... They're not going to bother with the, the AAA games or, you know, the main canon entries, whatever. They're just going to fuck that off and concentrate on these mobile games. And we do not want that. That's something we don't want. So, you know, you can't buy into this. Please, like, by all means, download it. See what it's like. But don't spend real world money on this shit. Please, don't do it. Like, I'm so sick of, of this generation, yeah, of gaming where... Everybody has to put fucking microtransactions in their fucking games. It's driving me mad. I'm from the old school era where we had the PS1, the N64, the Dreamcast, the PlayStation 2. We didn't have to deal with this sort of shit. When you got a game, when you got Devil May Cry um, Special Edition, you know, DMC3, Dante's Awakening Special Edition, you've got everything on that fucking disc. And I was happy to sell my old copy and get the new copy. You know, instead of just shoving microtransactions in every single thing, that they can create.
But hey, it's got nice shiny graphics and it looks kind of fun. Sarcasm was never my strong point. Yeah, like, alright. Visually, it doesn't look that bad. It's very pleasing to the eye. What can I say? But at the same time, we all know where this is going to go. Most iOS games are shit. Even the ones like Dead Effect or Asphalt or even Lily. I remember playing Lily back in the day. Yeah, they looked good. But they still suck donkey scrotum at the end of the day. They were fucking bad. They were bad games. Look, if you think this looks good and you're you're all aboard for it, let me ask you one thing. Why do you think Capcom and this team, you know, this team they handed the DMC name over to for a little bit, um, why did they go with an established brand like Devil May Cry? Because they know they're going to pull in people who are fans of Dante, fans of Devil May Cry 3, and the fact that they spruced it up, made it look better, made it look fresher in HD, that's what's going to pull people in. But at the same time, this is just an iOS game that's going to have a ton of microtransactions that wants to bleed the money from your fucking pocket. And that's stuff that we can't put up with. You know, I didn't put up with that red orb crap that was in DMC5. I didn't buy into that shit. I'll play the game and restart the level, yeah, before I even spend any money on red orbs. So, my point is... There's a reason why they've chosen an established brand like Devil May Cry. It's to draw all us old school and new school Devil May Cry fans in, you know, and say, look, here's Dante from DMC3 and Virgil looking way better than they ever did on the PS2. Here's some levels from previous games like the London setting from DMC5, the Carnival setting from DMC, you know, Reboot, DMC, DMC. I'll say it once and I'll say it a fucking million times. That's a dumbass name. Devil May Cry DMC. Say it with me. Yeah, it doesn't sound very good, does it? It was shit at the time, it's still shit. But there's a reason why they're throwing all these fucking random levels from different Devil May Cry games in. Because this isn't a canon entry, this isn't a sidestep entry. This is just, this is a cash grab game, Devil May Cry, iOS, microtransactions, give us money, 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 money. You want Dante's new jacket? I know you like the look of that new jacket, you can change his outfit. Give us five dollars. Go on, stranger, give us six pound. <laughs> I know you'll love it. I wouldn't even be that surprised if they had the merchant in this Devil May Cry iOS game, you know, asking you for money. Uh, but you know what? The graphics look alright. <laughs> Again, sarcasm isn't my strong point. Yeah, look, like I said, visually, trailer-wise, oh, looks good. That's how I felt when I saw a game, a AAA game like Metal Gear Solid 5. It's gonna finish the story. This looks like the best Metal Gear game to date. I was disappointed. It wasn't that great. And that was filled with a load of like microtransactions and shit in it as well. Same thing with Death Stranding. Damn, this game looks good. This looks like the best looking game on the PlayStation 4 to date. Yeah, it's a walking simulator. At least that wasn't filled with microtransactions, to my knowledge, anyway. But same thing with this DMC iOS game. It's playing on nostalgia. It's trying to grab all these DMC fans in like, come on, look, this is going to be a DMC mobile game. You know, you can play it on the go. We all know what you're playing at. We know that you're going to try and, you know nickel and dime people left right and center with this fucking game that's what i can see and if you guys can't see it and you're dmc fans then i feel sorry for you because you're gonna find out when the game's released nintendo tried to do this recently with mario kart and also mario run previously mario run was fun at first and then i found out you had to pay 10 pounds to unlock the rest of the game and i was like nah you can fuck off with that um and mario kart was fun it was a typical ios version of mario kart what you'd expect i started completing tournaments and stuff you know the cups and then they got deleted and i was like what the fuck are nintendo doing why are they deleting all my progress and stuff that's just the way they wanted to play it so needless to say both games found their way into my uninstall bin very very quickly like they they it was easy it was a click bomb buy it. see you later nice try nintendo so yeah look this never works out. iOS games uh, are just notoriously known for being shitty fucking nickel and dime type experiences. That's what we're going to get with DMC iOS. I think they're going to charge you money to probably unlock different levels and different locations and, and weapons and gear and all that kind of stuff for Dante. And if you buy into that and you're a fan and then you wonder why they're not making DMC games on consoles anymore but only for iOS, then you're part of the problem and you'll understand exactly why they're doing that. Um, look, we live in a, a generation now where everything is great and you can't say anything bad and you're going to hurt someone's feelings. You're going to hurt big corporations' feelings or people who play a game that you don't like's feelings and everything is great. Everybody dances around flowers. The sky's always blue. The sun is always shining. Birds are always tweeting in the fucking sky. You can't say a bad thing if people are like, well, I like that. Well, too bad. I don't fucking like it. I don't like what they're trying to do. And I wish they'd just remake the fucking third game or remake the original or do something like that. Put their efforts into that instead of this. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, look. Uh, I'm going to round this off. DMC iOS. Don't fucking spend any money on it. By all means, download it. 
play it for yourself, have a few minutes of fun. Curiosity is a very powerful thing. I'm going to be curious and want to see for myself what it's like, but I know what's going to happen in the end. The eventual thing that's going to happen is it's going to find itself going into my uninstall bin, the same as you guys are going to be doing. If you're a DMC fan like me, just be happy with DMC5. We got that this year. It was fucking amazing. It was a wicked game. If no other DMC games come out, then so be it. At the end of the day, we got a fair few good games out of this series and we don't need some interactive pachinko machine, essentially, you know, nickel and diamond us out of our money. We don't need that. And if that's the route they want to head with Devil May Cry, then I say, fuck it. Like, I'm done. That's it. I'm done. I know exactly what it's going to be like and I'm not easily fooled. And I'm not fooled by no trailers either. So, you know, I've learned that over the years, having watched the Death Stranding trailers, the Metal Gear trailers, all these other trailers that have, have led to like these games that have flopped, in my personal opinion. So, yeah, I'm not fooled by no trailer for an iOS game. And I'd like to think that a lot of Devil May Cry fans aren't fooled either. You know, as a Devil May Cry fan, I'm pretty sure that other fans, like my friend's a huge Devil May Cry fan. He's not fooled by this. He doesn't like the look of this. Do you know what I mean? And I know a lot of you guys are going to be the same as us, so... Yeah, like, they're my thoughts on the new DMC iOS game. I thought I'd let you guys know, um, go on a bit of a rant. I'm sick and tired of, of these microtransaction-filled fucking spin-offs coming out, you know, just to grab people who are fans of the, the original series and of those properties and stuff. And just, you know what I mean? It's, like I said, it's putting the wall over our eyes, you know, and trying to entice us with something we're familiar with. If you're a DMC fan and you like the look of this and I've hurt your feelings, that's tough shit. At the end of the day, <laughs> there's a ton of other DMC fans like myself who don't like the look of it. If your feelings have been hurt, then you maybe need to grow a spine, uh, armor up a little bit, fam. Because, you know, your feelings shouldn't be hurt just because I share differences of opinion. Get over it, tough titties. Sort yourself out, sort your life out. But I want to know what your opinions of this DMC iOS game are down in the comment section below. Um, also, if you enjoyed this video, enjoyed this rant, I had to get it off my chest. It feels good to rant. It feels cathartic, you know. I like to get rants out sometimes. So if you enjoyed this, go ahead and smash the like button. Um, consider subscribing to the channel if you find my videos funny, entertaining, or informative in any way. Then consider subscribing. And until next time, I've been SystemCheck66 or SystemCheck66. However you want to say my name, and I'm out of here. Peace. Peace.